Well, today is Thursday, December twenty third, uh, twenty twenty one. Tomorrow is twenty fourth. Uh, it's a Friday. It is our payday. Actually, our payday is twenty fifth every month, but since twenty fifth falls on Saturday, which is off day for us, uh, we just forward forward the payday. To uh twenty fifth, which is tomorrow, so I'm、uh, a little bit excited about the、uh, payday tomorrow.、Uh, I am not fully excited because it's not a bonus month.、Uh, we usually get one hundred percent bonus for our basic pay. So tomorrow we will have only a basic pay,、uh, which is much better than other people's wage. But nonetheless, we feel like we are treated like a monkey.、Um, but here's an interesting idea about what to do with a human corpse、uh, when we die.、Uh, composting is a method where we you just let、uh, food waste, whatever you have, to ferment and go to waste, ferment and become a fertilize. Uh, using a natural method like adding a straws, rice straws, wheat straws, and water, and sometimes the、uh, ashes that from the furnace, or, or you add some、uh, environmentally、uh, friendly chemicals. Basically, it's just fermentation method.、Uh, so, should we go ahead and、uh, compost our human waste? Let's take a look into this interesting article. America's first funeral home for composting human remains is open for business. Open for business.、Uh, I remind you, this is just my English daily,、uh, daily English reading for learning English、uh, for pure academic scholarly、uh, aspect. Okay, it's not for profit. It's not for damaging the、uh, article. It's just for reading, reading the、uh, article for our、uh, daily English、uh, reading, just like、uh, reading a Bible every day. America's first funeral home for composting human remains is open for business. Open for business. Open for business. With the death positive movement gaining momentum, the idea of a human remains becoming rich soil that can lead to new life seems oddly refreshing. Oddly refreshing. Lead to new lives, rich soil. Lead to new life. By Teresa Carey, February first, twenty twenty-one. Lead image by Samuel Reason. Death comes to all of us, and it's never easy. Death comes to all of us. It it's if cemeteries and funeral homes don't give you warm fuzzies, then consider instead in having your body covered in soil and bacteria. So it can be composted into mulch. Composted in mulch. Okay. Death comes to. Death comes to. All of us. Okay.、Uh, fuzzy. Okay. The idea of a human remains becoming rich soil. That can lead to new life seems oddly refreshing. After a decade of planning, planning and fundraising, and a successful bid to change Washington State law, recompose a composting funeral home is finally open for business. Recompose the facility, wh- which received its first body in December. Looks somewhat like a giant beehive in a warehouse. Each hexagon shape is a long tube filled with wood chips, alfalfa, 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 
alfalfa, and straw. This is where the human remains lie, adding a little organic material, munching bacteria. And the human body will turn into a large box of mulch. The composting process, referred to as a natural organic reduction, takes about one month and costs $5,500. Families can then decide to find a home in nature for the remains or recompost will deliver it to Bears Mountain Conservation Forest in southern Washington. Despite the ashes to ashes, dust to dust, being a recurring theme in many funeral ceremonies, composting human remains was not a legal form of body disposal until recently, when Recompose founder Katrina Spade undertook the cause. Undertook the cause. Undertook the cause. Undertook the cause. Recomposing. In recent years, attitudes toward death are shifting as what is being dubbed the death positive movement takes hold. Takes hold. Recompose sponsored a 2018 Washington State University study to determine the safety and effectiveness of composting human remains. Six subjects were composted during the five-month study. They found that the process met the EPA standards for composting facilities in Washington State. And when measuring the resulting material, toxins like arsenic and lead stayed below the EPA limits. Stayed below, below the EPA, EPA limits. Stayed below the EPA limits. Spade's efforts convinced the state of Washington to be the first to legalize human composting. The new rule went into effect, went into effect in May 2020 and allows for the contained accelerated conversion of human remains into soil, rich soil. So far, there are three facilities in the state licensed to perform natural organic reduction, including Recompose Natural Burial Cemetery, Herald her land forest and return home, which expects to open next year, according to KTLA. This is simply another option at a time when people feel they have no options. What Patrick, the steward at her land forest, told Coin Six News, "You know, death has intervened and changed you, changed your life forever." How can you do something at least to make it the way you want? In recent years, attitudes toward death are shifting as what is being dubbed the death positive movement takes hold. Attitudes toward death are shifting as what is being dubbed the death positive movement takes hold. Attitudes toward death. Attitudes, attitudes toward death are shifting. For example, certified death doulas help people make peace with death. Before the pandemic, death cafes were increasingly popping up around the country. Included in, the, in that movement are innovative and sometimes unorthodox ways to decompose of a body, everything from building your own coffin to being turned into an eternal reef by having your remains mixed into the cement of an artificial reef that supports marine life, that supports marine life.
certified death doulas. Uh, I've I don't know what is doulas. Maybe a cemetery, a a form of cemetery, death doulas. Sounds like a Romanian word. Recompose not only fits in with the movement, but also argues that composting human remains makes practical sense. Studies show that human composting can be an energy-efficient, green way to decompose of remains. Recompose says that one metric ton of CO2 is saved for every person composed instead of cremated. About the same amount of gas-powered vehicle emits in three months. And the author reports that the composting footprint is less than the toxic chemicals used in embalming or the carbon dioxide and pollutants. Uh, emitted during cremation. Okay. We'd love to hear from you. If you have a comment about this article or if you have a trip tip for a further future free think search story, please email us at tips at freethink.com. So that comes to all of us. Uh, certifies Certified death doulas, certified death doulas, uh, attitudes towards uh, toward the death are shifting, okay? Stayed below the EPA limits, Stay supported marine life. Uh, composting, compose, death doulas, recompose. State limits. Death comes to all of us. Rich soil, mulch. Uh, run on gasoline, open for business. Open for business. Open for business. Oddly refreshing. Oddly refreshing. Oddly refreshing. Oddly refreshing. Rich soil. Lead to new life, okay? Lead to new life, lead to new life, lead to new life, mulch, mulch. Fuzzy, fuzzy, undertook the cause, undertook the cause, takes hold, takes hold, undertook the cause, undertook the cause, takes hold, stayed below the EPA limits, attitudes toward death are shifting, Certified death doulas undertook the cause. Fuzzy death comes to all of us. Lead to new life. Much rich soil, oddly refreshing, open for business. So now let's take a look. Let's search the word doulas. Probably I encounter these ones, but I cannot remember. I can be wrong. Uh, nonetheless, I don't know the meaning okay it sounds like a dome of some kind of a cemetery dome type doulas okay not du doulas or doulas a uh, coyote okay do you like a coyote or coyote doula okay That's... doulas what doulas 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 doulas, doulas. 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 Doulas, doulas, woman, woman who assists a woman during pregnancy and during childbirth, as well as after the birth. Really, is that what you said? Uh, that's strange. Yeah, that's me. Uh, here, okay, let's go back. Uh, certified doulas. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, ashes to ashes, death to death, dust to de dust. Where is the doulas? Okay. Uh, death cafes. That's an interesting term. Death cafes. 
duelers. Uh, yep, I cannot find it. Yeah, that's what I thought. D O U L A S. Okay. Certified death duelers. Okay. Birth and death certificates. Douglas County. <laughs> I said duelist, okay? Duelist. D O U L A S. Duelist. Certified death certificate. Douglas. Get us copy. Douglas. Damn. I'll just go back and duelist. 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 A duelist is a trained companion. Who is not a healthcare professional and who supports another individual, the doula's client through a so some someone who helps the uh, childbirth or death, a uh, doula's okay. There's a guide, a funeral guide. In Korea, there are many funeral guides. Every if you go to every funeral home, there is many or several employed or contracted doula's. Male and both male and female, they help you every step of the ritual uh, for the next three days. In Korea, you, uh, a human body is buried after th uh, three days or on the third day of your death. Okay, so do less. Well, uh, that's it for my uh, English daily English reading to hone in on my English, to keep up with my English, or to continue to learn this and that. Uh, many expressions I know, I understood, or I memorized, but as I become old, I need to fresh up on the old expressions words. So it's oddly refreshing whenever I read, the, read an English article. If you do have a, some English article to be read, Please forward it and I will uh, read it uh, and post it on YouTube. Thanks for listening. Take care.